Hey, what's happening guys? I thought today we could take a look at uh, one of the unique abilities of this Rigol DS1054Z oscilloscope. And that is that all recently sold 1054Zs now come completely unlocked. What that means is all of the really cool software functions that you got as a demo originally but had to pay for now come free and included with the scope. Show you what I mean. We'll come in here and zoom in on the old scope. And if I go to the utility menu, system, nope, not there. Try this again. Utility menu, options. There we go installed. You can see that all of the trigger functions, the decoders, the memory depth, the record play, even the 100 uh, megahertz bandwidth are all installed and all official. And no, I did not hack it. This is how it came. So one of the great things that is included, of course, is the serial decode function. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. So what I've got set up here is an Arduino Uno with a 0.96 inch OLED display hooked up via I squared C. Now this is a Chinese display, it's not the official Adafruit display, but it does use the SSD 1306 driver. So I'm using the Adafruit library and we're just running that demo here, which you should be able to see. Adafruit Industries. So <clears throat> to read and decode I squared C we're going to need two probes. The yellow probe is channel 1, the blue probe is channel 2. Now I have pins here so I'm just going to hook them up up here like this. Channel 2 is the clock, channel 1 is the data, then we'll connect our grounds up. And let's that, that's it for hooking up to the Arduino. Let's roll up to the oscilloscope and I'll show you how we're gonna set it up. Well the first thing we're gonna need two channels. So there is our uh, channel 2, the blue channel, which I'm gonna drop down here to the bottom of the screen and we're going to put it at 2 volts peak to peak I mean 2 volts per division same with channel 1 then I'm just going to roll our channel 1 up here and also I'm going to put our trigger there into channel 1. So now all we have to do is a little setup here. We're going to go to our trigger menu. Our trigger type is going to be I squared C. Just like that. And then we're going to go to our math function. math is going to be hmm where's that I thought it was here decode okay there we go we hit decode and our decode type is going to be parallel now I have these channels switched so I can just hit this button right here and exchange them like that. I'm just going to adjust the uh, horizontal a little bit like that. And then I'm going to adjust our horizontal trigger over here so we're getting more. 
we're going to do a single capture like that and then we turn our decode on and that's all there is to it now you can see there's our address 3c following up is a null grab another capture and you can see there's a pretty much all there is to it uh, change our format here to hexadecimal and there's our decoding let's bring our our trigger start point back over here grab another one boom there's our address there's our data and really that is all that is necessary to do the decode and yes you can do it in um, auto mode but it's going to go by so fast that you're not going to be able to see what's going on that's why I like to grab a single shot boom and you can see here it says I squared C hex boom 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 I know it doesn't look like much is going on but it is so that's a pretty cool function and it's now included free with the uh, 1054 Z scope one of the really useful features especially if you're working with you know Arduino or designing digital circuits that use I squared C now other um, decode options you can see here they have parallel RS232 and SPI so all of those are available to you now for free I know you could say they were available for free before if you hacked it but that's just a little dishonest we don't want to do that so thanks Rigel for now including this with this excellent four channel oscilloscope and thank you guys for watching if you like this video why don't you give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe Big thanks to the patrons. Without them, we wouldn't have this beautiful new four-channel oscilloscope. Big thanks to you guys for watching, commenting, and uh, growing our community. That's it. I'm out. Peace.